Yellowstone volcano shock. Sudden rise at Norris Geyser has been recorded by USGS scientists. Callum Hare of uh, Express UK reports today. Scientists at the US Geological Survey, USGS, tasked with monitoring the Yellowstone volcano revealed during a live stream how the Norris geyser was rising. And this was rising unlike the rest of the caldera. The Yellowstone vol supervolcano has erupted three times in history as we know, 2.1 million years ago, 1.2 million years ago, and 640,000 years ago, and a smaller eruption 70,000 years ago. Recently, uh, scientists have found that it has been erupting quite often, just about every 6,000 years. Now, experts have previously revealed that should an earthquake occur, it could take less than two weeks before a catastrophic reaction is triggered. And as a result, scientists from USGS are constantly monitoring the volcano. Of course, they're looking out for any changes. And they have monitors, they have seismographs, they come up with the weekly caldera chronicles having to do with their, what their findings are on Yellowstone. They even have the observatory, the Yellowstone Observatory there, and we know Yellowstone National Park was the first national park ever to have been established by the U.S. government. We also know from the past that it is two and a half times bigger than what it was originally thought. It reaches all the way down to Mexico, and also the new finding that it, it is a hot spot. In other words, there's a magma plume right under it. Now, in April of 2018, scientists in charge Mike Poland, along with deputy scientist in charge Wendy Steele, uh, hosted a live event on Facebook, and they took questions from the public. And during that uh, broadcast, they revealed how the Norris geyser of the Yellowstone National Park has continued to uh, deform rising over the past few years. Poland said, we're measuring how the ground forms in Yellowstone and the best measure by far are the GPS stations. There are over a dozen scattered in various places, including in the caldera, outside the caldera, and outside the system. And Poland goes on to say, so I would like to show the plot and how to interpret it. The expert then displayed some data to the camera before explaining what it meant. And he said, here we have some data from a station near the Norris Geyser. We have the east deformation, the north, and the up. The way you interpret this is the east plot. If you see it going up, that means the station is moving to the east. And if it goes negative, it means it's moving west. If the north plot goes down, that means the station is moving south. If it goes up, it is moving north. The plot is the vertical deformation. If it goes down, then the station is subsiding, and up means it is uplifting. Poland then explain, explained how the Norris geyser was acting differently to the rest of the caldera. He says, right now, it is in a period of uplift moving south and east. In terms of the overall caldera, it is subsiding, but Norris has these interesting events when it shoots upwards. It's the most dynamic place in the park, and perhaps it's because of all the water that's under the surface. So we are now monitoring it, and while the caldera is going down, Norris is rising. It was revealed in 2015 how there is now an increased risk of a supervolcanic eruption by the, uh, the super, this supervolcano erupting, Yellowstone that is, by the end of this century. Dr. Michu Kaku, renowned professor and phys of physics at the City College of New York, described the caldera as a sleeping Godzilla. This is what he told Fox News in January. He said, forget the image of Yogi Bear representing Yellowstone. We're talking about a sleeping Godzilla underneath Yellowstone. If it erupts in a maximum eruption of Category 8, it will literally tear the guts out of the United States. Instead of having 50 states, we would be left with 30. So this report looked at a Category 7, which is more likely once every thousand years, instead of once every million years. That means in every century, there is a 10% chance that somewhere on the planet there could be a supervolcanic Category 7 eruption. Dr. Michio Kaku reminded viewers there would be plenty of time to evacuate. He said Category 7 will be many times the size of Mount St. Helens, enough to cause widespread destruction across the state, but not enough 
to destroy the whole of the United States. But still, it's something that we have to take very seriously now. Unlike a meteor from outer space, where you get no warning whatsoever, we get warnings. If you see movies like Pompeii, you know that there are days, in fact weeks of eruptions building up, rumbling inside, underneath a pocket of lava, so there would be enough time, several weeks, to begin evacuations, if and when such an unlikely event were to take place." End quote. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece and Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.